Okay. Yeah. Take your time. Go ahead. Oh, hi. I'm the Rifter, if you haven't noticed by now. And this is my nightmare. I've gotten a little bit of sun, if you definitely haven't noticed. I mean, maybe that's why you didn't notice, is because I've gotten so much sun lately. Sun. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I, you know... You know what? Let's just agree to disagree because I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what's going on anyway. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so I was just at the Walmarts and I saw a gentleman I used to work with. And I will call him Brian because, you know me, I just... I care so deeply about people's privacy that I don't, I don't want to use his real name. So Brian, thank you for this suggestion. And I do have to find the video for this one, but I, I will I will try, and I will put it on the side of the screen, most likely. But I got off work at 4.30, went home, got cleaned up, had to come into the Walmarts real quick to pick up a few of them things, and oh yeah. Got some sunglasses, yay. Anyway, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but that's... If you haven't figured it out by now, you really don't need to be watching this channel. That I guess that's... Because all I'm going to do is jump all over the place. Anyway, this happened a while ago when I worked in pro services. So... I'm on, you know, I often got tasked to go on delivery because they were a rider short, and a rider is just somebody who helps the delivery driver, like haul in the refrigerators, haul out the old refrigerators, stuff like that. So, oh, I'm trying to remember, I think it was a gentleman, you know what, I want to disguise his name too, so it was a gentleman named... Patrick. So Patrick and I, I'm pretty sure I'm disguising his name as Patrick. Anyway, Patrick and I went to, well, first of all, we had a whole bunch of deliveries and it was like, I don't know, I think it was 7 or 8.30 at night by the time we got back to the store. And this was like the, the second to last stop. But, we go out to this house, and it's way, way out. Put, put it this way. The instructions included the phrase, turn off the paved road, and, and it, it, it was a county road. So you know it had no pavement. We were scared we were going to get stuck. In fact, we, we, it had just rained, and we could not get, we couldn't get down their driveway. Couldn't even really tell it was a driveway. We had to drag our dolly through the mud and everything. So, we pull up to this mailbox, and there's this little driveway leading back from the street into the woods, and we're like, we walk up to it, and it's, it's a trailer. It's fine, whatever. No judgment. I don't care where you live. Now, getting a little a little dark out for that. Now, we go down there to scope it up or see what we're going to deal with, you know, make sure the doorway is wide enough and everything. We didn't expect to see a trailer down there, but so what happens is we knock on the door, they answer and we're like, okay, immediately when they open this door, just this, this urine smell hits us. And we're like, oh God, oh God, what, what, what? So, I'm, j I'm remembering this whole thing now. Ugh. So we go, we go in there just to kind of scope it out. 
and it's terrible. They're, they're like, they're not full blown hoarders, but there is a path through the house to where we can get through. Uh, there's mouse poop, uh, roaches, everything. Just everywhere. It, it's disgusting. You definitely would not want to go in that house. I didn't want to go into it and I had to. Anyway, we go in there. We try not to touch anything. There's like stuff crumbling around us, like magazines and stuff. If you look at them too hard, like the edges will crumble. You know what I'm talking about. Like you find a, like your dad's old Playboy or your grandfather's old Playboy or whatever. And it's like so old that it's, it's just disintegrating. Well, I don't know why I brought that up. Anyway, there was stuff disintegrating. So they had like an island in the middle of their kitchen. It was such a weirdly designed trailer. But they had an island in the middle of the kitchen. Oh God, it's just, it's bringing back so many of the memories. So many of the feels are hitting me right now. Ugh. So there's an island in the middle of their kitchen which opens up into their living room. The kitchen and the living room pretty much the same room. I might draw a diagram, I don't know. I don't know if I'll have time today, but anyway, they got their sink right next to their range, and then they got an island in front of it, in front of the sink. No, 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 it was in front of the range too. That's because we had to go around into their dining room which you couldn't dine there it was just a room with crap in it like crap on the table it's it was so disgusting anyway so I go in to unhook the old range and pull it out and in the background behind me I suddenly hear like this little person and I look around there is a child living with them like I understand being you know if you don't have a lot of money or you're on fixed income but you can clean your house believe it or not cleaning products do not cost that much I'm pretty sure you can get on Wick and they'll give you cleaning products clean your houses especially if you have children what is wrong with you Anyway, I mean, our house isn't spick and span. It, it's a little cluttered, but anyway, I digress. So, I go in their kitchen slash living room, dining room, and their light switch, they tell me, is above the sink. So I flip it on. There are cockroaches all in their sink and they scatter when I turn the lights on there had to have been like seven or eight of them just right at the drain and then they ran and like ducked down behind the backsplash on their on their countertop not good so I'm already like oh and oh yeah and there's bounce poop on the counter on the floor pull the range out and there is just, there are so many roaches. I'm not even gonna estimate how many there were. There were so many that scattered. There was mouse poop. It was just super, super thick. It was disgusting. How some of you people live like this, I will never understand. Like we had a mouse and I found some mouse poop in the cupboards. My God, I yanked everything out of the cupboards and I washed everything and cleaned it up. I didn't do it right away because I didn't have a lot of time, but I did it. That's the important thing. Ugh. Anyway. So I unplugged this thing and it's disgusting. Like everything I touch in their kitchen is sticky. You know, like when you when you have that one friend when you're when you're little that like their parents just don't care and they live in a trailer and they don't clean 
and they smoke and it's just everything is yellow and sticky and then they use like 3200k light bulbs that make everything even more yellow and orange that's the kind of gross I'm talking about so th this ugh, this range is so disgusting there's grease spilling over the side I'm trying to remember it right but I know I've got the video somewhere and I'll play it because I climbed up in the back of the truck to videotape this because I, I didn't believe it at first and I, I wanted proof because it was so disgusting but I will put I'll put the video right now if I'll put the video if I can find it, I'll put the video right now Well, there's the cockroach I was talking about. Disgusting. This thing smells like urine. This uh, stained another customer's refrigerator with all this grease on the straps of the dolly. So yeah, that was pretty gross. If you couldn't tell, that was a cockroach on top that had uh, fallen backwards on some grease and it was stuck and it was just kicking its little legs. Gross. So anyway, we do that one. Oh, oh yeah, and the other thing was that when we wrapped the strap around for the dolly on that one, it actually stained, the grease stained the the, the little the strap on the dolly and that thing stunk too it was so disgusting anyway we get done with that one we put that on there oh oh I forgot while we were pulling their new range in we fell through their deck their deck broke underneath us because of the weight I forgot the deck was so in such a state of disrepair that I think it was Patrick, but his foot fell through the deck. It could have been me. I don't remember. It was a long time. I'm talking like six years ago. But yeah, we get done with that one. And we go to someone else's house. And that was the last stop. And it was really late at night. It may not have been Patrick. It may have been Arthur. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Patrick. Anyway, I send this video to... I send this video to the department manager for delivery at the time. I'll, I'll call him Charles. And... So... Here's the thing. If customers are watching, which they probably are, if you live in this kind of filth and have something this disgusting, don't expect us to take it. Like, we... I say we. Lowe's or anyone, even if you paid to have it hauled off, can completely refuse to haul something off. They'll refund that, that Holloway fee, trust me. But... No. I was informed that I should have refused that one because we don't want roaches infesting the new ones, which I didn't think of at the time, and I was like, yeah, you're right. But don't get all bent out of shape if you, you have a delivery refused because, ugh, because of that. You just expect it. So... There was that. Ugh. 
I don't even know why they bought a new range anyway. It, it was just going to get disgusting like that one. Anyway, so that was my, that was my delivery. One delivery story. So I, I guess I could tell you another quick one. <laughs> I'll never forget this. It was, it was me and John out on delivery and we go to this house and they've got steps going up to the door, which is fine, whatever. We go in and scope things out first. They've got plenty of room to bring the new one in, unhook the old one, bring that one out, and hook the new one up again. Well, they got steps going up to their door. Fine. When you get in, there's a small landing, and then there's immediately stairs going downstairs, and immediately stairs going upstairs into their living room. Really weird design for a home, but whatever. So, John and I... We haul the new refrigerator in, up the first flight of stairs, or up the, the stairs to the door, then the first flight of stairs. We get that and set it in the living room, no big deal. We get their old one, pull it out of their living room, and here's, here's where the magic happens. My feet, so, okay. John is below this refrigerator, and it is a heavy refrigerator, it's an old one, so it was really heavy. And he's down under it, and he's he's holding it with his hands just so you know it's not as heavy for me. Well <laughs> I did not take into account that my arms were going to stretch, and I was on carpet with my shoes. So I start down the first step, no big deal. Second step, no big deal. Third step, and my arms are fully extended, and my face is pressed against the top of the refrigerator, and I try to step down, but my feet get caught on the carpet at the top on the top step. So I can't I can't swing my feet under. So I <laughs> I have this thing like with all my strength and I just yell out to to John I say do you got it and he's like what do you mean do I have it and he looks out from around the corner I'm laying down just with my arms outstretched down these stairs and like I've got my foot hooked on the top step just so I don't drop it on him and he he almost dropped it on himself he was laughing so hard look it was funny but the main thing is, I didn't drop the refrigerator on him, and I'm proud of that. One team, one fight, right? Or, no. No, wait. What is Lowe's slogan? It's, uh... It used to be, let's build something together. My gosh, it didn't take me long to forget that. What, did, what was it? Anyway, it's something stupid to make to make you think the corporate actually cares and wants to build crap with you, whatever. But anyway, there was that story. That was that was pretty amazing. I thought I was going to kill one of my co-workers that day, but luck had it. I held on. Oh my gosh, I was like the Guardian. That's really... That's one of the few movies that Kevin Costner is good in. He's okay in. He can stand Ashton Kutcher. Anyway... <clears throat> And the Rifter, 315 of you now. Wow, where does where's the ceiling on this? Oh yeah, and I'm back in my old set if you haven't noticed. Driving. Anyway, you know, 315, thank you guys. Uh, I love all of you in the Rift Army. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say yes. No. Mm.